Hey guys, so I wanted to show you this plant. This is my Swedish Ivy that was out in my great big, oh there's my laundry, it's all done, yay! Um, that was grout in my great big tall gray container that had the Super Tunia Vista Silverberry this summer and then also some lemongrass and sweet potato vine. And it was glorious, giant, giant plant, giant root ball. And I was able to save this plant out of it. I didn't know if I was going to be able to um, because I had to cut everything out of it early, earlier than the frost, earlier than I expected because the container had gotten leaf cutter ants in it. And I was really, really sick about it, but I couldn't have that right up next to my house. So I pulled everything out of it, but this plant was so healthy. Everything else was just getting eaten alive by the leaf cutter ants. Like the super tunias, the blooms were all gone. The sweet potato vine was just dead, which was really surprising to me. And then the lemongrass was just covered. It was basically like all the roots and everything were just getting covered by these ants. And so I was looking at this plant and it was like not even really touched in the container. And the one thing I love about it is that it has this beautiful, beautiful variegation. Like look at these leaves or that, is that not just absolutely glorious? Like it is so pretty. Every single one of these is so pretty. They're really soft. They're almost fuzzy once they're a little bit more mature. When they first come out and they're really little like this, they're kind of rubbery and really shiny but then they they grow and they get really really soft and furry and they smell like soap they smell like really wonderful parisian soap so i wanted to keep this plant and i didn't know what to do because i didn't want to have you know ants in my house because that's you so what i did was i pulled it out and i shook all of the soil out of the root ball i mean I sprayed it off, I sprayed the whole plant down, everything, and I repotted it in this little container that is so super pretty. Um, you can see it a little bit better. And I left it out on my back patio for a few weeks, just by itself, secluded from everything else, see what it would do, see if you know any ants came back to it, and none did. So we started to get really cold and I wasn't still very sure about it. I hadn't seen any pests on it, nothing next to it. So I put it in the garage by itself, sprayed a ton of bug spray all the way around it to make sure nothing would get in it. And I haven't seen a thing. I haven't even seen like spider mites or anything near it. And I just went through and trimmed a ton off of it. So what we're going to do is see if he will do well inside because he's putting on a ton of new growth. One, he bloomed, which is amazing. I saved the little calyx, I think, and I'll show you. But he's got all of these little bitty baby leaves on here that are so tiny and sweet. And this is all new growth, guys. All new growth since he's been pulled out of that container with all those other plants because it's just all up in here where all of these older stems are. So let me show you all of the cleanup, all the damage with the cleanup, and I'll show you one of the little calyx. So this is all the cleanup today, which is strange. So, so strange. It's just, there's so much, like, all these just dead leaves around here. Basically, I just, I shook him out in the garage, too, before I brought him in. So there's even more, but it's a little bit hard to see, but I wanted to show you this is, they bloom and they have these really pretty little flowers on them and they do go to seed. And so I wanted to show you what this looks like because it's really unusual. I did not know that he would do this and he did it this season too. He bloomed actually in the pot after I repotted him. He sent out a couple of these bloom stalks. Now this has kind of dropped some of the, the flower on it and some of the seeds already, but that's what it looks like. And I thought it was just so interesting. So one of the things that we're going to do is I'm going to show you, um, this is my little plant area. There's the project from last week. Another project I'm working on. Um, I took some of the stems and I'm going to see if I can propagate them because it's got these little air roots in it. I'm going to see if I can pull one of these out without disturbing it too much so right below these little nodes you 
can kind of see that right there. Kind of, kind of roll it. See these got these little kind of nodule things. There's a really good example right there. If you can, if I can get that to focus. Oh, Bella, we're not talking about you right now. There we go. See, it's got these little like air root things with these little nodules. And so I'm pretty sure that it can propagate right there. So I've kind of cut them off at each one of these little spots and I'm dunking them in water. And we're gonna try and propagate it kind of like a pothos or something like that. And then just change the water out every week and see how it goes. So um, that'd be really, really neat if I could save them. Cause some of these are also really spindly. There wasn't a lot of foliage. They just had really long kind of blank strands of fronds with no leaves on them. So I thought these would be perfect places to kind of cut and not really harm the plant. And it'll help him bounce back and fill in more of these kind of smaller bare spots where he's just got like little bitty leaves in here. So I'm going to kind of wait and see what happens with these because this would be a really awesome way to kind of fill some of that space where you saw that empty dirt in there. And what I think I might do is take some of my moss and kind of top dress it because it's a little dry in here. I need to get my humidifier up and running. Um, but I thought I would top dress it so then that way it has a little bit more water retention in that pot. And I don't have to water as much because I get a little lazy with watering. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I would give you guys kind of an update and see what you think. There's a really good example of an air root right there. Really good example of an air root. So we will see how it goes. Um, and hopefully he will bounce back really, really awesome. And then hopefully these will root and I can have more little fronds coming out of there. Or I have another pot just like that one and I can have a pair of these um, really wonderful little Swedish ivy plants. So anyway, that's all I've got for you guys. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye.